So I'll give you a big hint for this one. It ain't ready. Probably this is going to be a long video. No, it's not. So I got my Sky Connect in for Home Assistant. And I thought I would jump in, and yeah, I ended up with uh, two of them, thanks to they did send one out, I guess, to the Creator Network. One's black, and I did order the regular one just to kind of support things as well. And so they're not that expensive. And yeah, they do have that MG21 EFR, blah, 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 chipset. Yeah. So I wanted to jump in. Now they don't have thread going for just right now if you're going to do you know the supported stuff in home assistant they have it just inside the home assistant os or haos or some people want to call it like hasio you know if you've been around for a bit now i just run straight docker containers you know part of those cool kids that do that they don't really have some stuff for that just yet maybe one day we'll have thread to mqtt which would be pretty cool so I did fire it up in a little VM and fired up the thread network and had stuff working. So then I was like, I need a device. Well, let's go head on over to the thread website and see what devices I can get. So I started going through and I said, oh, NanoLeaf, I've seen NanoLeaf stuff before. And they talked about the NanoLeaf A19 Essentials light bulb. And I'll just say off the bat, I know it even says the colors are great. The colors suck. They're, it's crappy. D d d don't. It's okay for the whites it has, but it's kind of crappy. But And then it has this weird looking, I don't know, diffuser on the top. I guess it's supposed to be cool. So I tried the Nano Leaf, and at least I could get theirs. They had a Android app. But see, that's not the basis of things. It's supposed to be Thread. Thread is supposed to be kind of like that new Zigbee thing. And I know it can be confused with Matter, where Matter is supposed to be like a higher level type deal. But Thread is, you know, supposed to be kind of the same deal. You take things out the box and it's all local control. And, hey, I'm going to have my Thread, you know, radio going basically. And, I, and this is all new, so maybe I'm being an idiot and you'll laugh at all and, you know, give me all the comments down below, which will, whatever, that's a whole different. Thread on here, I put it in the app, had to pair it up, and it says Thread's not available on the network. I've hit up their support, still waiting after a few days, haven't heard anything back from their support on how to, they, do they even support or do, would it even work with open Thread? Not sure. So, you know, I can't just have one device. I want to check out Eve. And yeah, this is a crazy, stupid, expensive smart plug. I think it was like 40 bucks for a freaking smart plug. I mean, I, I guess I'm used to the SwitchBot ones that, you know, you can put ESP Home or Tasmoda on them and uh, do even Bluetooth proxies with them. And you can get those for sometimes on sale for like 10 bucks or less. So, or even the S31s, which are great. Not a lot of amazing stuff. I went to go try to pair it up. It, it did show up on a Bluetooth proxy, but um, no energy data, no relay data on it. And it shows threads disabled. So I'm like, hey, let's go hit up support. Let's go see what they say. Well, they say it's not gonna, you have to need a iPod mini or something, or I don't know, I'm not an Apple person. So I, 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 we do the Android kind of stuff here. I just never really got into the Apple things. And they just seem to be want to support the Apple stuff. So that's kind of their ecosystem of things. And even though it's built on thread, it says right here, but then it's BLE built on thre thread. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It's still an expensive plug. It's like I say, 40 bucks for a plug. I'm not going to pay that for a plug, even if it does thread or whatever i mean i can get some zigbee plugs for much cheaper you know the power monitoring singled ones or s40 or whatever it may be so i had also i had let's try a battery power device see how this works out well you can see the same thing happened um at least i was able to pair this with bluetooth after a few tries with a bluetooth proxy using you know the esp home stuff but um 
yeah, hit up their support again on that. They're like, nope, you need the Apple stuff. It does not work with Thread. I'm like, but your box says Thread. I, I don't know. So um, maybe when we get some Thread stuff going, then I'll end up, you know, doing some maybe probably two networks. I know this is supposed to be that dual network deal, but I probably just still stick to Zigbee to MQTT. And hey, maybe we'll even have Thread to MQTT and I won't have to run a VM for Home Assistant. I can still use my container like a cool kid. That's pretty much going to be it for this one. I appreciate everybody for watching this, uh, hopefully, little clip. Um, and I appreciate all the Patreon subscribers, YouTube members. Definitely couldn't do it without you. And, um, yeah, this is going back for now. Thread's not ready. This is Zigbee Coordinator. This is um, cool and stuff.